Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to CodingScientist.com. You are watching machine learning on the edge or uh, using Arduino BLE 33 Sense. Guys, keep these sensors, keep this board ready along with the sensors which is obviously inbuilt within this and get it connected because we are going to finish the installation of the libraries uh, pretty soon in, the in this lesson or the next lesson. And we are going to get into the real time exercise and I'm going to show you a lot of examples and start building projects and you are going to get along with that. All right. So let's see what we are going to install today. So we are going to install humidity sensor. <clears throat> In the previous lesson, I showed you how to install the barometer and the temperature and stuff like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. But in this lesson, we will be installing the humidity sensor. It's the same like the blue one which you get uh, for your, in your Arduino kits, right? But uh, in Arduino 33 BLE, this sensor is inbuilt. So you don't have to buy any additional sensor at all. And the Arduino HTS2221 is a library name. It is, it, this library is to use the relative humidity sensor of HTS221. The sensor name itself is STS221, right? And it is an ultra compact sensor that uses a polymer dielectric planar capacitor structure capable of detecting relative humidity variations and basically returning as a digital output on a serial interface. So you can connect to uh, write your code in such a way that it can detect the humidity and show it to you on the IDE itself. Or you can also publish that into your web. So that is in the future lessons I'm going to show you. You can also see the temperature on your mobile phone through this particular sensor within inbuilt within 33 BLE. The Arduino HTS 221 library allows you to use this particular sensor, which is also called HTS 221 sensor. And basically this will read the temperature and the relative humidity of the environment. So you can imagine the kind of IoT applications you can build in the future lessons, which I'm going to show you one by one. All right, so let's get started. I am going to switch over to my IDE so that you can see my screen. I hope you guys can see. Now let's go to sketch, include library, manage libraries, and then this box will open it's updating the list at the bottom you can see it's got updated and then now we need to say arduino arduino underscore htc there you go if you type arduino underscore htc <coughs> oh, sorry ht let's leave it as ht Arduino underscore HTS, not HTC. Okay, Arduino underscore HTS two to one. So I have already installed it. You can see the first one allows you to read the temperature and humidity sensors of your Arduino 33 BLE sense. Specifically, it is mentioned here 33 BLE sense, which is going to read the temperature and humidity sensor, which is inbuilt within your uh, within your uh, board. So let's go to more info and uh, there you go. You, you have ton loads of details available here. You can go to the examples by clicking this section and the documentation and the comments. You can go ahead and read it. This is for your own skills guys. Make sure that you read the details instead of blindly just installing because I am showing it to you, right? So go ahead and read everything. Now, once you are done with this, we will be writing some codes uh, pretty quick and uh, you know, we will, we will take, take it forward from there. But make sure that you guys understand what we are doing guys, because uh, you know, obviously just by connecting uh, the USB uh, to the Arduino IDE uh, of this particular board, doesn't make uh, you know to write uh, doesn't make that you you are able to write the code and uh, make it work no there are ton loads of libraries we got to install and ton load of configurations and settings because this is a pretty complex board you know though it is very easy to access all the gpio pins but unlike any other arduino boards this board has got a unique function unique 
features. Why? Because this has got inbuilt sensors. You don't have to buy any sensors. It, everything is inbuilt, including the microphone, including the sound, right? So we got to uh, be a little sensitive about all these libraries and read through and understand what this library does. That is where you build your skills. You need to understand each and every specifications of the libraries, why we are installing, what it's going to do, how the header files is going to be imported, all those stuff. So any which I'll be showing you one by one since it is a zero to hero series. You know, I'm, I'm starting to show you, I'm, I'm planning to show you everything from scratch. All right, guys, keep the things ready. I'll be back soon in the next lesson very soon. Goodbye.